I want to talk to you about Zoom versus Skype and which one should you go for this year? I mean, uh, the thing is that let me give you the presentation first. And uh, I mean, during COVID and uh, and, and in, in, uh, after COVID, a lot of companies and a lot of people overall have uh, rethought how they should approach work, work from home or telecommuting in general. As more professionals work from home, the need for a reliable video conferencing solution is more important than ever before. And uh, you may be debating uh, between Zoom versus Skype for your remote communication and team collaboration needs. And the cool thing is the two apps share many of the same attributes, but stark differences exist too. So the right solution for you will actually depend on your specific business requirements. So things like security, scalability, ease of use, a variety of features offered, and customer support are all important considerations. So uh, those are things you really need to pay attention to. First of all, I want to quickly define what we're talking about. What is Zoom? Zoom is really a secure cloud-based platform with video and audio conferencing options that make online meetings easy to host and participate in. So with a free Zoom account, you can host up to 100 people simultaneously. In contrast, a paid plan lets you host up to 1,000 people at any given time. So in addition to Zoom's modern conferencing tools, it really offers a variety of interactive features, including breakout sessions, which allow you to split your meeting attendees into small groups for training or discussion. You can also send chat uh, messages, mute all microphones, and take advantage of Zoom's uh, whiteboard and screen sharing features to make presentations more engaging. So that's for Zoom. What about Skype? Skype is a telecommunications software that allows individuals and businesses to make voice calls and video conferences. With Skype, you can also uh, instant message send files and make debit-based calls to uh, mobile phones and landlines. Like Zoom, you can access a chat interface, screen sharing capabilities, and presentation tools. So this is kind of important to really pay attention to that. So when we talk about Zoom versus Skype, uh, you got to really understand that Zoom will charge you like $19.99 per month in terms of uh, the, the, the paid price. And uh, I mean, th there is a free version, but free to $19.99 per month. Skype for business, free to $12.50 per month. In terms of support, you have online and on-demand support available and uh, for Zoom and uh, Skype, not a problem. With, uh, with, for online features, you have presentation tools, focus mode, re uh, record and playback abilities, real-time and private chat, breakout rooms and waiting rooms for, for Zoom. For uh, Skype for Business, you have file sharing, video messaging, live chat presentation tools. And uh, you, for supportive devices, you have a lot of, a lot of uh, capabilities there. So that's really cool in terms of uh, the, the uh, the capabilities you get from from uh, either uh, platform. By the way, boss, welcome back to the show. It's really a pleasure to have you here. Make yourself comfortable. You are going to enjoy today's conversation. I want to talk to you now about the value added. So I want to talk about Zoom versus Skype. Let's talk about it. Let's have a, a detailed comparison and breakdown when it comes to the value added. So when you think about uh, Skype, you're going to have the Office 365 Business Premium. And this will set you back 12 to 22 bucks per month per user. You have tablet and phone business apps, pre-installed Office apps for computers, one terabyte of cloud storage per user. And you have a tool that connects you to, with uh, co-workers and customers through Skype, Outlook, Microsoft Teams and Exchange. And you have phishing and uh, ransomware protection. In terms of user uh, friendliness, Zoom and Skype are both considered user-friendly applications. However, Skype is more user-friendly for personal calls and small teams who want to communicate via chat outside of, of uh, virtual meetings. In contrast, Zoom offers more features that make it user-friendly for businesses. And we like that Zoom has admin controls that allow you to turn off certain features, create recurring meetings, and designate host and co-host. All of these features make Zoom more user-friendly for larger business meetings. In terms of app app integration, app integration can save you time and energy by allowing you to to use apps you already use and love alongside your virtual meeting software. And uh, Zoom integrates with various apps, including Box, Slack, Microsoft Outlook, OneDrive. You have Google Chrome. You have Facebook, Centrify, QB, Salesforce, IBM Watson, Workplace, Workspace. You have LTI, Okta, Zapier, Intel United, and more. So this is really important. And uh, Zoom even allows you to integrate directly with Skype and join a Zoom meeting from a Skype call. On the other hand, if you use Microsoft Office, you may like that Skype integrates smoothly with Office's many programs. In addition, Skype integrates with uh, Lucid Meetings, WordPress, Grasshopper, Sales Exec, 
big contracts, one CRM and uh, group wise. So that's really good in terms of uh, the, the capabilities there. And so notable app integration uh, integrations for Skype include Microsoft Office. I'm speaking about Outlook, Word, PowerPoint, and Link. You have Moxie, Concierge, and Yugma. You have 8x8 Virtual Contact Center. And YMI, you have Agile uh, CRM, Microsoft Dynamics, C Dynamics uh, CRM Online, and Slack. In terms of user privacy, you are well served with uh, both, okay? And video and audio quality, you are well so served with both. I mean, uh, they offer either offers top-notch 1080p video. In terms of features, Zoom and Skype offer a wealth of features, especially for making your virtual meetings run smoothly. And uh, productivity is also there. Both are pretty good there in terms of uh, capabilities. And in terms of video conferencing avail availability, well, if you have coworkers who don't want to download the app or sign up for an account, both platforms have, have you covered. So that's really fantastic. Boss, I want to quickly remind you of today's topic. We are having a conversation about Zoom versus Skype and uh, which one is better. Let's talk about that. I want to talk to you about the evaluation here and we want to talk about the pros and cons so you have a clear idea what I'm talking about. And uh, so basically Skype was first released in 2003 and was acquired by Microsoft in 2011. Zoom launched in 2013 and has experienced a uh, meteoric, meteoric rise in use, particularly in the last few years. And uh, Zoom and Skype have several features in common. Both offer uh, free plans and both allow you to record your sessions, share your screen, chat within the, the video call and access meetings without sign up, without actually signing up for an account. And uh, both are also compatible with uh, various uh, operating systems including Windows, Mac, iOS, Android, and Linux. While only Zoom and Skype account holders can set up meetings, participants do not have to join either platform to attend video uh, meetings. So this is really important. Now, there are some differences between the two solutions. Skype does not offer a premium plan for business. Zoom offers a three premium plans ranging from $14.99 to $19.99 per month per license. And Skype's maximum participant capacity is 100. Zooms is 1000. So you can see the Delta right there, right? Skype allows uh, video meetings to last up to 24 hours. Zoom's free plan limits uh, group meetings to 40 minutes, 40 minutes, though one-on-one -on -one meetings can be up to 30 hours. Zoom offers a breakout sessions. Skype does not. And this is, this is a big, especially if you're trying to really, uh, if you want uh, some kind of a privacy among your teams, and this could be a biggie, okay? And Zoom offers a recording transcripts on its business and enterprise plans. Transcripts are not available through, uh, through Skype. Zoom also offers a polling and whiteboards for interactive discussions, while Skype does not. And with Zoom's uh, paid plans, you can live stream your meetings on social media, and social media streaming is not available with, uh, Skype, with Skype. And uh, another thing I want to talk about here is that... Uh, both Zoom and Skype offer the ability to change your virtual background, which is really useful for remote workers that want to look more professional during calls. You can also use a Skype with an Xbox or any Amazon Alexa device. Those options are not available with Zoom. So it's one of those things where you have to see the pros and cons of, a, of a each, uh, each service. I want to talk to you now about the differentiators here. So it's important to understand that employees want video conferencing tools because when you think about it, good communication is all about making things easier. And who wants to spend hours traveling to a meeting, really, when you think about it? And so the bottom line here is that when you have uh, Zoom versus uh, Skype, you have available devices. So Zoom supports Android, iPhone, Mac, iPad, and web platforms. Skype is web-based and supports all Windows. Android phones, iPhones, Macs, and iPads. In terms of uh, available features, and that's important in terms of uh, differentiators, Zoom is packed with an array of uh, features, including video webinars, integrated scheduling and group collaboration, and uh, other powerful features of this platform include cloud and local recording, premium audio, as well as Zoom meetings and Zoom rooms. Skype also comes with powerful communication features, including Skype to Skype calls, group calls, call forwards, one-to-one -one video calls, and video messaging. And the cool thing is you can also send texts, 
video messages and share a screen files and contacts. In terms of clients, both Zoom and Skype offer premium video conferencing solutions, a reason why they have loyal clients across the globe. And Zoom boasts loyal clients like uh, the University of Washington, Uber, and Zendesk, while Skype is the choice of uh, Verbalize It, Airdex, and diverse learners. So in terms of uh, who uh, the, the tools are designed for, both Skype and Zoom are ideal for small businesses to a large enterprise, but Skype's free plan is also popular among freelancers. In terms of supported integrations, Zoom supports an array of integrations including Microsoft OneDrive, Box, Slack, Salesforce, Microsoft Outlook, Google Chrome, LTI, Canvas, Blackboard, Desire to Learn, and Moodle, Okta, Facebook, Centrify, Cube, you have, you have a lot. And other integrations supported by Zoom include uh, Google Drive, Firefox, Active, HipChat. And it's, it's the same thing that you have with, uh, with, with Skype. Skype has uh, all kinds of integrations too. Integrations to all the Microsoft products, that's for sure. We also have uh, the, the, some CRM, so Agile CRM. You have uh, Moxie, Concierge, and Yogma. So you have the, the ability to do a lot of stuff with both uh, tools. By the way, boss, I want to quickly remind you of today's topic. We are having a conversation about uh, Zoom versus Skype. I want to talk to you about the cost here. And uh, so I want to first start with uh, with Zoom pricing. So you can see the, the Zoom actually has uh, five sort of uh, commercial clusters. And right now, I'm showing you on the screen the uh, the pricing for a workplace. So that's uh, basic pro business and business plus. So that's pretty clear. And uh, they're not really actually, uh, they're not, they're pretty transparent. I mean, both platforms are really transparent in terms of uh, their pricing. And I'm showing you another screenshot. This is the second screenshot. And this is the, this actually relates to personal. The first note, the, per, the, the, the first screenshot was for a business workplace business related and uh, this one is for personal so this is for you know you always have a with, with, for business or personal you have a free a free version so that's kind of cool that's really cool in terms of uh, functionality we love that a lot and uh so now i want to show you the pricing for skype i want you to look right now on the screen and you see on skype the that you have uh the pricing for mobiles and landlines for the united states for instance for India, for North America, so you are actually have to have to think about what works for you. And Skype is free. However, if you are looking to improve productivity and boost revenue, Skype has an enterprise pricing package for two dollars per month per user. And you got to really ask yourself, what are you trying to really do with uh, with Skype? Really? So you, with the Skype business plan, as a user, you can enjoy features like online meetings up to 250 participants and secure communication lines using strong authentication as well as, as well as encryption. So you can see that basically Skype is uh, is cheaper than uh, than, you, than Zoom, but Zoom actually does way more when it comes to uh, when it comes to certain uh, certain certain features or certain capabilities. When you really think about it, and uh, what I want to say also is that you don't have to sign a, a contract like a one year contract or two year contract with uh, with Skype as you do if, in some cases with Zoom. Because they want you to really be with them for a while but before actually unlocking certain features. So, hey, it isn't. It is what it is. I want to talk to you about the specs. So, when we talk about Zoom versus Skype, what are the specs you need to think about? Well, let's talk about user friendliness first. Both Skype and Zoom offer simple, straightforward interfaces that make it easy to both set up and join meetings. When setting up a meeting on Skype and Zoom, hosts are given a unique link to share with meeting invitees. Neither platform requires a software download to participate in a meeting, and Skype and Zoom tie in terms of overall user friendliness. Okay, what about customer support? Well, Skype offers a customer support through the Skype Help Center and the online Skype community. One-on-one -on -one support is not available for Skype Skype meeting. Zoom support is available with all plans through the online help center, while Zoom premium plans also have access to email tickets and live chat. Zoom business and enterprise customers can receive personal support via phone. What about, what about security, And which is really a, a quintessential element that a lot of folks uh, are interested in? 
So Skype comes with uh, end to end encryption and it has a solid it has a solid reputation for system security and all zone plans come with uh, TLS encryption and AES, AES 256 encryption for real time content and enabling Zoom's end-to-end uh, -end encryption, which is really available for on all planes, protects communication between, between all meeting participants as data is encrypted during transit using cryptographic keys. I mean, that's kind of important because especially when we talk about business communication, can you imagine if you're having a call and you have all the, the confidential uh, business data being, uh, being sent to the internet, airwaves, and somebody picks them up? That's really bad. So there's a, a, a huge security breach there. So, but so far, Zoom has actually uh, patched its, uh, there were some holes in security holes and now those are really uh, taken care of, not a problem. I mean, Zoom security has been called into question recently though. Zoom bombing, which is when an, an uninvited person cr crashes a Zoom meeting, made headlines in 2020 when the platform was grappling with skyrocketing growth due to the surge brought, brought about by COVID-19. And Zoom has made, they have made several private privacy updates and improved platform encryption to crack down on meeting intruders and provide added layers of protection for, for users. So what is the verdict here? When we talk about the Zoom versus Skype, which one should you go for? It really depends on what you're looking for. I mean, both platforms are really good, but uh, at the end of the day, what, what you choose will depend upon your needs. So Zoom offers far more robust business features than Skype and is the hands down winner in the Zoom versus Skype showdown. With Zoom, you can hold meetings with up to 1000 people while Skype limit you, limits you to 100 participants. Zoom offers whiteboards, meeting transcripts, participant polling, breakout sessions, social media streaming, exceptionally strong technical support and much more. Skype, when you think about it, is more functional for uh, small teams or personal use, but pales compared to uh, Zoom's extensive suite of business features. So that's really important. It, if, if you are interested in, in, the, in the business aspect of things, you would rather go with, uh, with Zoom for sure, because even though both offer premium solutions and are designed to take your business communication to the next level, basically uh, the enhancement to the Zoom platform on free and paid tiers give it a, a an edge that's for sure but uh, when shopping around for the right software for your remote communication and video conferencing needs you can always uh you know you can always ask us a question in the comment section below and one of our team members will, will certainly get back to you not a problem but uh long story short zoom wins this it, 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 the zoom basically is the more decisive choice for a business whether you are a solopreneur or a large corporation because again, of the fact that it offers larger participant limits, more advanced presentation capabilities, and a great range of admin controls that allow you to set the terms of your virtual meetings. Okay, that's really cool. We also like the fact that Zoom runs effectively even on weaker devices and doesn't require an account or download, reducing client and coworker frustration. Zoom's free plan offer a great variety of options and their paid plans contribute really continue to build on the previous plan's value, making them worth the investment for companies looking to scale their meetings and their meetings, but also uh, not only in terms of uh, the number of participants, but also uh, in terms of uh, security and uh, encryption. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. This was a quick uh, conver conversation about Zoom versus Skype. And let's do a recap here. I gave you the presentation, the value added, the uh, the evaluation, the differentiators, the cost, the specs, the verdict, and now our recap. Thank you so much. God bless you. I'll see you next time. Until then, remember, stay marvelous.